first three from the World Championships are here and two other final finalists. There's Rohan Browning of Australia, the Australian champion back in uh, early April in Brisbane. Second in Yokohama in 10-10 just uh, a couple of weeks ago. Johan Blake, the third fastest man in history. He was sixth in the Rabat, in Rabat but he is picking up, I'm told, World Championship champion uh, the Jamaican back in 2011. Akane Simbine goes in lane three, fourth in Tokyo, fifth in Rio, the African champion back in 2018. He won here, mind you. He likes racing in Italy. He won here in 2020 in Rome and in 2021 here in Florence. Fred Curley goes in lane four, the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist. He is the world champion, though, from Eugene last summer, winning in front of the home crowd, and he won in Rome last year at this Golden Gala meeting. He also won in Rabat last week, 994. He won the 200 in Doha. He's unbeaten this year, Curley. Marvin Bracey Williams goes in five, world championship silver medalist. Watch him in very good form, 993 in Montreuil on Wednesday, just two days ago. In six, Raymond Bromel, the world championship bronze medalist. The bronze medalist as well back in 2015 in Beijing. He won the Diamond League final last year. Watch Bromel on his day. He's quick. 976 is best. Ferdinando Mignola, the Commonwealth champion from Kenya, goes in lane seven. He's only a semi-finalist in the world championship last year. Remember that late arrival? He was third in Rabat in 10.05, but he's full of confidence, may go better here. And completing the lineup, Samuele Ceccarelli of Italy, the European Indoor Champion. I'll tell you what, when uh, Jacobs is absent, this young man is, a, is uh, ready to take over, of course. Uh, Lamont Jacobs, the uh, Italian Olympic champion, uh, pulling out of this meeting just a couple of days ago. His first outdoor race of 2023, this for Ceccarelli. Huge role for him there in lane eight. But Fred Curley, well unbeaten this year, is one of that trio of athletes who has broken 10 seconds for 100, 20 seconds for 200, and 44 seconds for 400. He's fabulously strong in the Rabat last weekend. He got stronger and stronger as the race wore on. So he wasn't that happy with his start. He said to me he changed the, his foot positions and his blocks, and he was getting used to that. But he starts here as favourite as Curley in four. He's a mountain of a man, so much bigger most of the rest of this field. Browning in one for Australia. Johan Blake goes in two, the Jamaican second to rise as we look at this field. Simbino of South Africa goes in three. Then Fred Curley in four there in the white t-shirt. Bracey Williams of the USA, the World Championship silver medalist behind Curley is in five. Bromel, the bronze medalist in Eugene last year in six. Ominyala in seven. Ciccarelli, there is the camera, in eight. <laughs> Good start from Tim Bina. going well at the moment. It's Blake over the far side. But here comes Curly. 400 metre man getting stronger and stronger as the line approaches. And he pulls away to a win by about a metre and a half. Curly there. 993. Well, the meeting record never threatened. That's Justin Gatlin from back in 2015. 975. But it is quick. It's a little bit quicker than he went in Rabat. That was a 994. Oh, and it's been adjusted to 994 at the same time. Frankly, Omignano 10 5 That's an improved run from the uh, Kenyan, but he is operating so, so consistently, and that gives you further confidence and leads to good runs coming up. Well, another dominant run from Curly really is the man to beat at the moment. And I know Jacobs isn't here, and he's, he was actually quite good in the press conference, didn't kind of rise to the bait of saying, Why do you think he's not here? And, you know, he said, I'm just concentrating on myself, and that's what he does, you know, and he's, he's running very well, he's at the top of his game, he's got options, 100, 200, he, he did tease us a little bit, saying, yeah, I can still run fast at 400 as well, but this is where he's concentrating his efforts at the moment, in the 100, the 200, and I just, you know, tonight, you know, it's early season still, Tim, and you just know with Curly, he's talked about night. 69, isn't it? Tyson Gay's American record. That's the target for him. And he's got to start getting into the 970s, you know, once or twice. Maybe he's going to get close to that. And I think that will happen. He just, I think Fred Curley likes the competition. He wants Jacobs here. He wants the best here. I mean, he's got some great sprinters here against him. But he don't necessarily get the best start here. Once he's up into his running, he's dominant from here. Particularly the last 30 or 40 metres, he just puts a little bit of daylight between.
to it himself and the others. And then he looks for the clock. He'd love to be running a little bit quicker. I know he would, but still a good dominant run from him. Do you think the nine sixes might be beyond the 400 metre guy? I mean, it, it's almost too good to be true that he could be world class at 100, super world class at 400 as well. I think though he has to think that he can do that, you know, because there's obviously the chance that people are, he's running against right now are going to start running uh, somewhere closer to your know, 970, that sort of time. So he's got to believe he can do it, otherwise he shouldn't be doing that. Often. And uh, yeah, I, I think certainly the 970s, 969. Well, let's see. Well, there it is, 994. Omidyano and Rommel, second and third. Subine, back in full curly. Well, he's a quiet customer, lets his legs do the talking in the main. Massive fella. Quite uh, imposing, intimidating, I suppose you could say. His uh, chest is roughly the side of a size of a barn door. And uh, it's a very fast barn door, I think.